Well, we are affecting uh, the composition of the atmosphere in many ways, uh, not only by burning fossil fuels, but the chemical industry is producing new chemicals almost every year. And uh, that's, uh, some of them uh, has been shown in the past, but damaging to ozone, fortunately, uh, those compounds are being banned, so they no longer are emitted. But uh, there are others coming uh, forward, uh, the fully halogenated compounds, for instance, which may have an effect on climate. So some of them are still being produced, but they should be uh, banned, uh, in my opinion, because they are too uh, global warming. Well, we, uh, it's, it's a question of information. We are not always aware of what is being produced by the chemical industry or by natural processes. We had uh, the surprise with the volcano in Iceland, uh, which uh, had a huge influence on the uh, social behavior of people. And uh, there will be uh, situations like that coming up, both the, through human activities, but also purely because of uh, natural, uh, natural processes. And uh, to discover those, you have to do research, so uh, making measurements, interpreting measurements, and uh, show this to the politicians, and hopefully they will act. And in the case of uh, uh, chlorinated or halogenated carbon uh, compounds, uh, we have had seen a real su success story. But uh, when I say success, there has been regulation, but it wasn't the last resort, so to say, because uh, the ozone depletions were getting deeper and deeper and uh, uh, causing more and more problems to the environment. So uh, the ozone, the ideal situation would have been if the CFC gases would, would have been banned by the beginning of the 70s. That would have been ideal. In fact, it happened uh, 10 years later, more than 10 years later. And uh, even beyond that, it takes a long time before these compounds are removed from the atmosphere.